what are the three one of the big ticket items out there um coming out of covid right economic recovery what's that going to look like how are we going to pay for covid is almost the title how are we going to pay for it yeah um so you know the how are we going to pay for covid how is the economy going to recover how do we bounce back yeah um and tied into that and what about brexit so that that all ties into that same subject so so the central theme around that is yeah how are we going to pay for it how are we going to grow how are we going to prosper after covid yeah um i think the um that's kind of one theme so lots of people hear that lots of people understand that but what does that mean for public service what's public sector got to do with this well of course there's some investment that's needed um which will kick start some elements of the economy and we hear about it and we refer reference it as leveling up okay so what's leveling up really mean you get five people in a room you'll get seven different opinions on what level up, leveling up looks like um and so the challenge going forward will be right let's let's take leveling up and apply it to the real world and applying it to the real world is okay what are our places going to look like so that brings in places fit for the future so what are our places going to look like going forward what's the world of work going to look like what's the world of education going to look like well, how are we going to recover our town centers how are we going to embrace what digital's already done to the high streets and the way that we used to shop and the way we used to spend our leisure time so through the transformation program we can use that to bring forward some of the early thinking from across public agencies um, about how they see that taking shape yeah and that'll be everything ranging from tackling housing shortage through to let's get serious about town center redesign and modeled around the digital places fit for the future and we can bring some people in that specialize around that let's learn from other countries across europe and the world that are also challenging this and we can bring that into the fold i think the um the, the the kind of going back to the economy one um the, the questions really to be asked there are okay how is the uk going to work in a global economy uh with a very different landscape from where we are we are no longer part of the eu and like the rest of the world we are recovering so what does that mean for the world of work what does that mean for creation of jobs what does that mean for industry in the uk and again government departments central government in the main but local local governments are heavy influencer in this is about how do we interact in, with investment who do we attract what kind of industries are we looking at going ahead and let's not lose sight of that other little thing that's going on in the world at the moment called climate change which is part of that single ecosystem so Right, so what are we talking about there? We're looking at potentially the jobs for the future are going to be in renewables. They're going to be in uh, operating um, and operating our lives in very different ways without use of petrol engines, without the use of cars. All right, so 10 minute towns, what do they look like? And again, through the transformation uh, conference and through our, our event around the transformation event, we'll be exploring some of the detail around that. So what are the industrial estates of the future going to look like? What are jobs going to look like in industry, in retail, in wider commerce, and actually in public service? So we can explore those options. Um, the big levers coming out of central government and how local government will apply them. And applying that, that great policy stuff at the national level, and then bringing reality to what it looks like on the ground, on recovering um, and prospering will be a key thread around what we can drive through. The third one, which is the one that's live and has been around since way before COVID, is social care. How do we support our older vulnerable people going forward in an environment that everybody from all political persuasions accept and have acknowledged on repeated occasions that the system is broken? How do we pay for it? What kind of services are we going to provide for people in the future? And looking at the transformational agenda around that, what is that going to look like? What's the role of local government in the future? What's the role of the NHS? How are their respective roles going to change? What is central government going to do to support and enable the closing of the funding gap? What does it mean for those individuals out there who are frightened, who are looking for support, currently find it difficult, but if government changes the shape, 
what does it mean for their livelihoods, for their investments, for their retirement, for their houses? So how does that play through? And again, through the transformation event, we can look at how some of that stuff is going to impact on people's daily lives, on places where they live, in the local authority areas in which they live, and the hospitals and primary care practices that support them through that stage in their lives. And let's not lose sight of the fact that with adult social care, it's not just about older people. A significant proportion of the money is spent on people with lifelong conditions who are quite young. So it isn't just about dealing with somebody with dementia that, that might be needing some support. It's also dealing with people with lifelong conditions that will need support from, have needed support from the day they were born and will need support throughout their lives. So again, looking at the transformation agenda, looking at uh, the transformation event, we can pick up on what did we learn through COVID? What did we know before? What can we apply post COVID? And actually, how are we going to, or are we going to finally tackle these challenges?